Morning, y'all. It's a Thursday, May the 4th, and I wanted to do a real quick little update on the Mara ice storm damage. And I wanted to focus on this poor little crepe myrtle tree that you saw in the very first video. How it was all mushed back right in the middle and we tied it up with uh, these pieces of t-shirt to bring the center together where the top of it was busted out and I did just a little bit of trimming on it today to encourage it to do what I want it to do and if you'll notice at the tops where we had to cut these major limbs off these are all beginning to sprout back out and they will be going up in the very middle of the tree where we lost those branches and we've still got that one tall one up the center but I think here in a year or two this is going to be totally filled in and flushed out and it's it's going to be a pretty tree again so I'm really happy that this seems to be working and I'll update you later as to how this progresses but so far I'm really happy with the way this has worked out now I also mentioned that this first flower bed here I had intended on planting of hostas in pots. I've got four pots out here and I decided that since we're going to lose that tree it's going to be too sunny for hostas. So change of plan. I have put in some agapanthus or lily of the Nile and this one happens to be a variegated leaf which I think is gonna be really pretty. Those leaves against this purple leaf crepe myrtle, I think it's gonna be a real nice contrast. And these agapanthus will take the sun much better. They won't struggle like a hosta would. And I have a few more little updates to show you. Something strange is happening with my white mist plant because this is always a fall bloomer. And after the ice storm, it put on some buds and it's got a few scattered blooms, which is okay. Uh, the bees love it. The butterflies love it. So if there's some more blooms here in the spring, I'm not gonna complain. But mainly this will bloom in the fall around Halloween. Now, I'm going to move on back to the backyard because I want to show you my daylilies. Now, as I showed you earlier, one of the earlier videos, I had to dig up a bunch of them because hopefully this thing's going to come down this month. I hope. I'm ready to get rid of it and get started cleaning up flower beds underneath. I'm I'm afraid to get under there because lim limbs are still falling. So I have to be careful about anything I do underneath that tree. But hopefully that's gonna be gone in the next week or two. But I mentioned to you I had dug up daylilies and put them in pots. And you saw them all potted up on the last video. Well, just look at these lovelies now. They have all leafed out. If you remember, I trimmed the leaves off, took all the dead foliage off, divided them, put them in a pot, and some of them have bloomed. Uh, a lot of them have flower blooms on them. As you can see, there's not one blooming today, but one right there is probably going to bloom tomorrow or I would love for it to bloom on Saturday because that's when our plant sale is going to be. So a lot of these 
little pretties will be up for sale at the Elgin Garden Club plant sale on Saturday, May the 6th at the parking lot of the Church Christ in Elgin. And it will fund our scholarship program for our high school and college. So come out and see us and take some of these little daylilies home with you. They're very easy care, not a whole lot to fuss over. Uh, I think I'm going to advise everyone to leave them in the pot over the summer just so the roots establish well and put them in the ground in the fall, which is I'm going to keep one of each of these. And I have about 20 different crosses here. So I'll be planting some of these back in the flower bed that they were dug out of once the tree's gone. But think about some daylilies for your landscape. These are great filler plants. If you have a spot in your flower bed that's bare, <laughs> blank, you need something in it, stick a daylily in there, folks. They will expand, put out new flags, new plants, and grow to a nice size, and you don't have to do a whole lot. I fertilize mine in the spring. Make sure they're not too dry if, it, if we end up with a drought. But these are great filler plants in the landscape. So invite y'all to the garden club sale and we will talk later y'all have a good day bye